So I'm here in the Crossroads Arts District of Kansas City, Missouri. Now the food scene down here is just blowing up. So much so that this one guy you know might have opened a dive joint down the street with a taco joint, but uh, that's just a shameless plug. Anyhow, I'm here to check out a joint where this chef has been blowing it up on the scene for 25 years. He's got a James Beard Award. He's doing uh, Mediterranean small plate tapas his way. You're going to dig it. This is extra virgin. Pickled onions going on top. It's culinary bliss. Boom, pecorino. With some really adventurous dishes. Bone marrow in the window. My tonsils are always doing the zydeco when I yeah. eat this food. Yeah. And Michael Smith is the maestro of the menu behind this neighborhood's culinary renaissance. The food scene in KC is blowing up. You've been in the game a long time. And you've been one of the revolutionaries in that. What was the inspiration of the whole restaurant? Mediterranean tapas. They go, topless. What, Michael? I go, no, 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 tapas, uh, tapas. Guy needs his own show. <laughs> I dig it, man. This is a fun joint. Cabin trees of fried rice. Everything is incredible. You can stay normal. Chicken in the window. Or you can try things that you've never tried. For example, here I have the duck tongue tacos. This play on traditional lengua with like beef tongue, but here done with duck tongue. It does sound a little bit intimidating, but when you bite into it, it's all a perfect bite. So what are we making? Duck tongue tacos. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ducks and their tongues. Their tongues. I've harvested a lot of ducks, and I've never seen the tongue I've utilized. Never, you've been to a million Asian stores. I kept seeing the tongues. I'm thinking, there's got to be something we can put this on. So I thought, we'll make a taco. It just took off. It took off. Get it? <laughs> Sorry. That is one so, big duck. We put some duck neck in it because it needs a little toothsomeness or God. something. I. There's a bone in it. Yeah, a little cartilage bone. It's about an inch long. Season with some salt, a little onion. Nice hot sauce. Cilantro, peppercorns, garlic. A chote paste. Yep, it's good color. And then a little yeah. water. We're going to put this in the oven and let it cook for about three and a half hours, 300-ish. Shred the meat off the neck. Shred the meat off of the tongue. Pull out that little cartilage piece. Put it together, buddy. Oil first. You're going to get a little bit of the caramelization of that duck neck. We've got scallions and cilantro in there. Shells are done. Whoa, you go big. Pickled onions, queso fresco. Oh. I just bit my tongue. Delicious. There's a depth of flavor that's coming through, one, because of this fantastic marinade that you yeah. made. Two, with the richness of cooking something like the neck. I know it's a little tongue in cheek. Now that one you've been sitting on for a while. It's creative. The texture's great. The crispiness that you generate from that meat to the tenderness that you get from the tongue. The acidic contrast that you get from the pickled onions. And then the little crunchy taco with it. That's some dynamite duck. Two of the duck tongue tacos here for you. Even though it's duck tongue, you shouldn't be freaked out by it. It's delicious.